As many of you know, the upcoming Ridley Scott film Prometheus sequel, Alien Covenant, was made possible by Scott convincing Fox to postpone the planned Neil Blomkamp Alien 5 project. With Scott saying he has plans for several sequels, many have speculated that Blomkamp's project may be off the table. However, Alien franchise star Michael Bean was recently interviewed by Icons of Fright and indicated that he's optimistic the new film will happen and even gave some info about what we could expect in Blomkamp's film. He said the following, They're planning on bringing me and Newt back, and at this point, Newt will be around 27 years old. I know that every actress in Hollywood is going to want to play this one. It's really a passing of the torch between Sigourney and this younger actress who would play Newt. I know they're putting the brakes on Neil's movie just for a little while, but I really think that it would be embarrassing to Ridley and Fox and Sigourney if they just didn't make the movie. Schnepp, what do you make of Bean's comments, and do you think Blomkamp's Alien 5 will ever actually happen uh i believe the the word is tabled it's not gonna happen it's shuttered uh, there's a whole bunch of other words i get what michael bean is saying it he wants to be he would love to be in in alien 5 because his character went out hardcore bad in alien 3 he was dead on arrival mm -hmm. you know what i mean it's like everyone who loved aliens when they saw alien 3 was super bummed out because everything that you cared about with the ending of aliens was just thrown away and he wasn't the only one who was dead no, I know. Newt, Newt was dead. <laughs> I mean, that's what I mean. It was like a totally weird, horrifying, like she's on this weird prison world with monks, and it was crazy. It was, a, And I get what Fincher was trying to do, but at the same time, it was just Alien 3 wasn't what anybody who loved Alien and Aliens wanted. No. So this is kind of that like fan kind of film is what I guess when I saw the artwork from Blumkamp, uh, you know, it was like definitely like, wow, they, there's Newt, and there's, uh, you know, what was his name in the movie? Uh, Hicks. Hicks. Oh, yeah. Hicks. Yeah, so... It's like, you know, I get it, but look, Ridley Scott threw down the gauntlet. He's like, look, you know, I'm making Prometheus, Covenant, Alien, whatever you want to call it. I'm making 50 of them. This other movie's not happening. And they're like, oh, yes, Ridley, tabled. So Alien 5 is not happening. There's no way it's going to happen. It's not going to happen next year. It's not going to happen in three years. It's not going to happen in five years. It's just not going to happen. So Mark? I think it could happen in five years. <laughs> but you're right. It sounds like it's table because of Ridley Scott's power and his ability to do what he wants in this universe. It sounds like Michael Bean. We don't know when this conversation between Michael Bean and Neil Blomkamp happened. It might have been when Blomkamp was the next guy in line. It might have been the day before Chappie came out. And everybody was <laughs> so high on this guy. And he's the guy to carry the torch for the Alien franchise. And it's a bummer that we're not going to see this movie for a while, it appears, because I really love what Michael Bean was talking about. Getting Hicks back. Getting Sigourney Weaver back. It's a little bit like what The Force Awakens is doing. You're bringing back characters from the franchise that we love before we saw movies that we didn't love so much and we're going to let them usher in the new generation. Mm -hmm. It makes so much sense and look, I really like the first Prometheus movie. It looked beautiful. There's a lot of potential there. I want to see more from there, but I'd like to get to Alien 5 too. The only difference though between you know what The Force Awakens doing with bringing back characters we love is that this one is taking the previous films and going didn't right. happen, everybody. Right. Right. Does not exist, which yeah. we all kind of wish The Force Awakens would do uh, <laughs> with, with the prequels. But no, the, because they, like you said, Hicks is dead in this universe. Mm -hmm. Newt is dead in this universe. Brutally so. So yeah. this this puts a big explanation point <laughs> on those rumors and whispers that we heard that they're just kind of going to pretend like Alien 3 never happened. All, this co absolutely confirms that. I'm going to say this. I agree with everything that you said about, you know, this points toward like Ridley's holding the hammer right now. He's clearly holding the hammer right now. And even though he would be listed as an executive producer on these other ones, I I'm but I'm still going to give it a chance. I will say there's a 30% chance that by 2019 we will have this new Alien film. Mm. This we'll say Alien 5, but since 4 3 doesn't exist, is it the new Alien 3 Redux? I don't know. Right. But I I will give it a 30% chance. That's how far, how high I'm going to I'd go. buy into that, too, because <laughs> if the new Prometheus movie comes out and is well-received, and then it could be Ridley Scott saying, I want to do other projects, and here you go, Neil. Like, that's what I, I'd hope for. Remember, it's not even called Prometheus. It's called Alien Covenant. It's called Alien Covenant. Alien Co so yes. then the second one is also going to be because in Ridley Scott's world, Alien something something. I was like, wait, so, what's that, Neil? You want to do Alien five? something? Five? You know what? I'm going to change my name in my movie. Yeah. Now it's called Alien, Alien. Covenant. <laughs> yeah. What are you going to do about it? Without numbers, either. So now it's not even part of your weird numbering system, because Alien 
Fantastic Five already <laughs> sounds weird if I got Alien Covenant, son. Sorry. But yeah, you're like Alien Redux, Alien Back in Time. What are you going to call your thing with like rewriting history? It's not going to happen. <laughs> Alien 3 returns again. I know, right? <laughs> returns 3.5. Again. Yeah. Hey, guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.